The EOS M is Canon's first compact system camera, so let's take a look at the new features. Behind the EFM lens mount, which we should note is physically smaller than the EFS and EF lens mounts, is an 18 megapixel sensor that provides an ISO range that runs from 100 to 12,800, with the option of expanding it at the high end to 25,600. The Digic 5 processor that's been used has also been recently seen in the Canon 5D Mark III and the 650D, and it's been used so that it can shoot continuously at 4.3 frames per second. Boasting a 31-point hybrid AF system, the EOS M provides a combination of contrast AF and phase detection AF. The idea behind this is to enhance AF speed and accuracy. The phase detect AF is used initially before contrast detect takes over to fine-tune the focusing. Another feature that's similar to the 650D is the 3-inch Clearview LCD touchscreen. This offers a very impressive 140K dot resolution and supports a multitude of gestures to zoom in and out of your images as well as scrolling through them. We particularly like the way you can just, just pinch the screen and just zoom out so you can see all of your images. As for movie capture, the EOS M records full HD video at a variety of frame rates that include 30, 25 and 24 frames per second. There's a built-in 3.5 stereo port on the side and this means you can just attach an external microphone, which is going to be very, very popular for those people that like to create their own movies. A lot of compact system cameras feature a pop-up flash that normally comes up from the top plate, but on the EOS M, it's slightly different. There isn't an inbuilt flash, but Canon support it with the 90EX speed light that comes in the box. It just attaches to the Canon EOS M on the top plate via the hot shoe. So there we have it, it's Canon's EOS M, their first compact system camera. It feels great and looks really, really nice and smart. Check back to Watch Digital Camera very soon for a full review.